Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing, and I started playing with the Metallic and Sparks paints from Prima, and decided to turn on the camera and share so that you could see all the different colors and options in this paint line. There are a few stencil techniques, a lot of different colors, just different things to see in this video. I hope you enjoy it. I wouldn't really call it a tutorial but I am sharing different things along the way. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Okay, so that's brass hardware, and this is one of the metallics. I think that's how you say it. There's three different kinds of paints in this, at least three in this Art Alchemy line by Prima. There's the metallic and the sparks. Oh, this is also the same. I was playing with the the brass hardware on this. The metallic is much more opaque and the sparks are sheer so far, the ones I've tried. This is Sparks Unicorn's hair. So it looks a little bit greenish now that I see it. I should have looked at the bottle more. Unicorn's hair. But I, I do like it and it has this amazing, do you see that? It looks wet. It's very smooth and very shimmery. I can see that you could coat a lot of projects and that would be pretty neat. I didn't try that one on black. So let's try Unicorn's hair. We'll just take a palette knife and dunk it in there. And let's put it on black and see how it looks. And I'll set that aside. Let's leave a section pretty thick. I'll set it aside for a minute and then we'll look at it again. But you can see it's almost blinding in the camera, right? While we're at it, since we're playing around, let's put... Well, we have to try the blue. So this is another one of the sparks, so I expect it to be translucent, and it's called Magical Pond. And they do need to be shook up, because they separate a little, they're very liquidy. Oh, look at that, that looks fun. Okay, let's see how much the color, oh my gosh. So the color holds a lot while it's on here. I'm gonna paint this one on, just kind of frost it on a little thicker. When I'm testing products or cleaning my tools or that kind of thing, I like to make pages that are fun to play with later, so we need to we need to mix this up a little. Okay, this blue one is pretty amazing. Maybe this blue one needs to stay at my house. Okay, I just got that stuff on my shirt. That's why I always wear grungy shirts, you guys. Okay, I'll put it on thinner, like maybe a blue lever or a non-blue lever would. This would be really neat on a winter card. Okay, so we'll let those dry and see how those are gonna look. Let's do something with all this other stuff. Even when it's just the lid or extra on my board or that kind of thing, I don't throw it away, okay? This is just a piece of deli paper that I don't actually know how this began. I don't know if it was in a printmaking class or if it was in um, a random craft day like this or if it was uh, had something to do with paint pouring. This is a lot of blue, even for me. I'm gonna knock it down a little. Oh, I like how it kind of floats on top of the crinkles on the paper too. Because they're thin, they're pretty flexible. You could apply them with a lot of different products. Okay, so that is the Magical Pond, which I do feel is pretty magical. And this one is the Unicorn's Hair, which I, it looks to me, at least out of the ones I have, and you can see I have quite a few here, it looks to me like it's the most neutral of the shears. There is one here that looks very gold called Dragon's Eye, 
but I think the unicorn's hair would be the most sparkly neutral, but it, it's a little yellow. And you can see that it holds its sparkle when it's dry. So it's dry to the touch. The blue part is a little tacky still. I played with this before I turned the camera on. I'll show you. Okay, so the Metalliques, they are true to their name, very metal and amazing saturation levels and not translucent at all. So this one right here, you can see I took the uh, lid off and smushed it all over the paper, is Royal Red. I don't know if you guys can tell. I don't know that I would necessarily put that on a Christmas paper. It, it's a little bit on the pinkish side, I think. Like this one, this ink on here is an orangey red. I can't tell for sure if this is going to read as a, a maroon or a hair on the pink side. And I'm super picky about that. That's a long story. Okay. I'm going to take my palette knife and just clean it off on this. And if you're a card maker and a scrapbooker, this might just seem crazy that I would even be interested in these papers, but there's so much that I can do with these. Trust me. Let's see. Oh, we have to try this one. Deep Waters. Oh, we're going to open this bad boy up for sure. Oh, this one looks neat. Em it says emerald green. Maybe it's just not mixed very well. It looks almost like a color shift. That's interesting. Let's put this over here so we don't have a giant mess. This one doesn't look... It's light patina. It doesn't look sparkly at all, so I think we should try it just out of curiosity. And I would assume that the pink and the green would read similar. We've tried them on white and black. Let's try it on some craft, also known as a Triscuit box. The reason I'm trying it on different items is I want to know like this one I covered up, there was black under there, and I used that ginger magic to cover it up. You can see it comes through a little. I wasn't trying to get it completely covered, just messy and fun. This middle part right here where it's sheer over something I tore out of a dictionary is the unicorn hair. This purple is one of the metalliques we know because it's dark. Oh, those are sparks. Oh, here we go. Dark Velvet. And you can see it's a deep, wonderful purple. And those are just the marks from the lid. So though it's thin, if you do some printing with it or smushing, I think it keeps its texture. I was just checking to make sure that that's the texture from that paint. I think it is. There was a little bit of texture underneath it, but it's pretty neat. And you can get these... I'm not sure exactly where they're sold or what's going on. Michael's was selling them at unbelievable prices. They were 60% off. And that's how these came to be in my life. Okay, this one is amazing. Oh my gosh. So, so far we've put them on white, black, and craft and there hasn't been one I don't like them on. What we haven't done, and I'm curious to see, is let's mix these suckers. This one, is this the same one? Oh, this is sheer. This is the sheer one. Let's try this metallic. Put some of this green next to it. See, that one's the lid stayed in too. I don't know what's going on. It's a wonder people want to share art supplies with me, isn't it? Okay. Sometimes people want me to take their art supplies and test them all out so they can watch the video and they don't have to do it all. And then they know what are some things these products can do. It looks to me like they blend really nice. So you could make different colors with them, get your teals. stripes through them. I also used, did I show you guys that one? Um, yeah, here with the stencil and it worked nice. I had a brush so it was a little bit goopy, but let's grab a different stencil 
and I think a makeup sponge. Oh, we have one right here. What do you know? I think a makeup sponge would be a good way to go. Let's let this part dry for a minute and then put something over the top of it and test some other products. Let's try these ones that are the lighter palette. Looks like spring to me. There we go. If that isn't spring, I don't know what is. But I'm curious to see if it looks metal. See, the lids are different. I swear they're different. Maybe they're not. Okay, this one, I'm just gonna take it. Can you see? I'm gonna take all that. Oh my gosh. Okay, those of you who've been watching, you know I'm not a giant pink fan, and I'm telling you, that is stunning. If you were doing a baby shower, or if you're just really into pink, like pinks and yellows, and uh, is there a yellow in this? If there is, I don't have it. This one says ancient coin and it reads a little green to me. I think that's not gonna be attractive in there. We could try it sometime. Here's gold brush. Let's see, they're all different. I don't know what the deal is. Look at that. Okay, now the green. The green didn't come out, did it? We need a brush. I'm going to have every brush dirty by the time we're done. Oh, I like that. I'm going to take a whole bunch of it off of the lid and just get it in here first before I get this polluted. Remember, these aren't mine, so I have to be somewhat careful about mixing the pink and the green in the bottle. Okay, I don't see, do you guys see the shimmer in the green? I don't see it like I did in the pink and the gold. The gold is amazing. I'm just gonna go back and hit this so it streaks through. Sorry about that. Clearly we're being invaded. Okay. If there's no barking, we'll keep going. But if it gets too crazy, we'll have to shut it off. So I love, absolutely love the pink and the gold. And you're not going to hear me say that about pink very often. The green is a great paint, but maybe I didn't shake it. Did you guys notice? Let's try again. Because I don't see it, the metal in there, the shimmer, really, like the other paints. Oh, that looks better. Maybe I didn't shake it. The color looks richer and I see more shimmer. So that's what I did wrong, which I should know better. Be sure anytime you're using paints like this or your like dilution sprays or anything that you shake them because all of that beautiful sparkle is heavy and it settles to the bottom. So I think that's probably it. When it dries, I'll know for sure if this part is much more sparkly than those. And this is dry to the touch. So let's set this down. Let's put the lid on the pink before this goes really badly. Vintage rose. Yeah, where is the, here, I'm gonna stick this thing back in it because I don't really know what the system is here, but if you have to shake them, you might want that thing in there. Maybe I should get the ones I threw away. Okay, I'll put them back. You don't have to watch me do that. Okay, on this, let's dry this just a tiny bit. Can you guys see that? That is amazing. What I think is these paints are shimmery and wonderful. I think where the most amazing benefit would be is to mix them with some paints that aren't shimmery so that they can really, really shine or to use them in projects to accent certain areas. Um, now let's see, let's put the green back together. I definitely like the emerald green. That's what we used here and the blue, but come on, we knew I was gonna like the blue. 
deep waters. How could I not? This whisper paste has nothing to do with this project. Okay, now sparks. I think if I put sparks on top of that, it's going to make a shimmer pattern, but I don't think it's gonna be a solid color. We'll try two sections. Let's see one I haven't tried. Okay, let's try, what is this? Mermaid Sparkle. Very trendy, right? This is a giant mess. I bet you're dying laughing. My husband's gonna be home anytime and he's gonna be like, what? When I tell him, hang on, I need like an hour to clean up. Okay, this is beautiful. Now, when you use a makeup sponge and stencils, can you see, yeah, um, you really don't want it goopy. I almost always get too much, so you'll see what happens if you get too much. It'll leak under the edge. So you wanna go, uh, if you don't have the glass mat, use like a cottage cheese lid. If you watch my mixed media videos a lot, you'll see me, I use those. Um, or just some kind of plastic that you can work on. If you use paper, it'll soak up your paint and you'll be sad. Oh my gosh. That is so fun that I want to continue it, but I'm worried the sections aren't dry. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a couple here. And I honestly have no idea what I'm going to do with this Triscuit box, but now it definitely needs to be part of something, doesn't it? It was in my, I'm going to make something with that later section. Okay, now I think the next paint is going to be, that we try, is going to be very um, opaque. Do I have my words right? You're not going to be able to see through it. So I want a smaller stencil or something a little bit less bold and crazy. This is non-skid stuff that goes under rugs. That's super fun to play with. Let's try this one, and I want it to go onto this brown area too because I might not um, finish this out. I might just leave it this way. How about, oh, we already played with brass hardware. You've seen, is Irish Potion the one? Oh, that's a Sparks. We need a metallic. Okay, brass hardware we've done. Oh, we didn't open this pretty light blue. I would have done it in the spring section over here, but we'll do it over here. Let's shake it really good. It is weird to me how the lids are totally different because see, some of them are not sealed for your protection. Am I gonna drink the paint? I thought we sealed food and stuff. I may be running out of devices. Here we go. Okay, so for this one, and. Uh, I am not switching from brush to makeup sponge to other things based on, oh, we can use this side of this, based on uh, types of paint. It is purely based on what I can find in my giant mess. Okay, so if you look at it, see that big goopy section right there? You don't want that. Take that off. Kind of has the makeup sponge texture. That's funny because it's such thin paint. Sometimes when I'm uh, trying to show you guys things quickly or talking, I don't always do like the best demo or the best sample of what I would do. I love that. The best thing, when you get paint on your stencil like that, take it and flip it over and put it on your project somewhere else. Now granted, that should be dry when you do it, but see how I got the reverse of it right there? That works great for ink and paint and all kinds of stuff. There's no need to waste it or to let it uh, dry on there. My stencils are all messy though, it's fine. I don't know if this stuff is already dried. And this is a little wet still, just so you know, it's not, not a perfect surface. Because that was a lighter color, see how it shows through there and changes? I like that, and if I had more variety underneath it, I think it would all show up. Oh, I got it a little too wet. My Triscuit box is starting to fall apart now. So we can't put any more paint on this, which is okay, because the big dog seems to have lost his patience with the world. Okay, so now you know the metalliques are very opaque. They have amazing color, and the sparks 
are sparkly. Oh, let me show you what this one looks like while it was sitting over here drying. Oh, I love that it kept, they do keep their color. So this is totally dry to the touch on black. And did I show you? This is the dark purple one that I showed you before on white. So you can see it on lots of different things. I think they're pretty great. I don't know that you need this many of them unless you're really into uh, metallic and shimmer and you want to do your whole project with them. But I think if you picked up one package of the, I think if I could only buy one, I would buy the metallics. That's because I have other products like the Sparks. Now granted, the unicorn hair or whatever it is, is maybe way more impressive than the others. I don't know if that's true. It's kind of yellowy. But you've seen me do some demos with the Bow Bunny stencil paste in Whisper. And I think it's, you know what, I'll just show you on here. You have to think about what products do you already have. So if you have products that are similar to this, then maybe you don't need it. So if you have some of the mousses, uh, the Nouveau mousses, or, you know, maybe you have some stickles and you're a big fan of stickles or liquid pearls, other kind of pearly products. There are a lot of amazing products that are sparkly and sheer. I'm going to stick my finger in this and then I'm going to put some just right here so you can kind of see the comparison. So this is has color in it and this, my perfect product would shimmer as well as this but be more clear like that can you even tell i put that on there probably not very well in the camera the whisper paste is gives it a little bit of sheer color and shine i was disappointed when i first used it because i didn't realize how sheer it was but this is kind of a weird color on my project so i would go with the metallics just because uh, i can use them to cover up chipboard and more things and I think they'll add layers to art journals better if I could only buy one package. And I think the way they're typically sold, at least in Michaels, they were Metalliques three in a package or Sparks three in a package. But if you were gonna get one of each, I'd get some Metallique and some Sparks in color palettes that would all work together and that would be great. So I'm gonna turn off the camera, <laughs> close up some of these lids, let this dry a little and then work on it some more but my Triscuit box is failing me. Okay, thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you had fun learning about these products. And uh, let me just turn these over so you can see the variety. Uh, these are metallic, so obviously it comes in basic metals too. And sparks, there's a lot of colors. A lot of colors. And we've played with a lot already. Oh, look at that one. We didn't play with that one. Ginger Magic Sparks. Okay, so this one would be cool. We got to try this one. Hang on. This might be a really fun, you know, if you were going to have like one or two to go with everything. So it's not gold. I want to see if this is dry enough. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it on top of the yellow and I'm going to put it right here in this blue section so we can see. Yeah, it kind of is gold. But you can see it'll keep the texture if you want. Ginger Magic. That's what that one was. And then I'm going to put this thing back on it. I've got a big, big mess. Okay. I think that's it you guys hope you enjoyed seeing these products and maybe if there's still some at your michael's 60 percent off you might want to pick some up you might be too late though so maybe some of your friends got them and they'll loan them to you please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already it's free to subscribe you just click the button and then it makes me happy it's so easy and then i'll keep making videos for you thanks so much for watching and be sure you're taking time for crafting and relaxing Bye bye